Hi Cancer, welcome back. Twin Oracles here with your November read. We hope you're having a wonderful day. We hope life is treating you well. We want to thank each and every one of you for being here. Thank you for your viewership. Thank you for your subscription to Twin Oracles. All of your likes, your beautiful comments, and also thank you for sharing with loved ones. We're truly grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. With all this being said, Cancer, Let's jump into your uh, read here. It is a timeless read. Whenever this video finds you, that's when it will most resonate with you. And it's a general read, so it might not all resonate with you. Take areas and aspects that do and leave those that don't. So with this being said, Cancer, I was picking up this energy, um, you know, for some of you, two different scenarios here. For some of you, you know, you have been putting a lot of your time and your energy and effort into having something come to my materialization, okay? You've been putting in the work, you've been putting in the time, um, and it's been a while, okay? And it feels like for some of you, this is divine timing and the divine timing is now. Things are coming in for you now because it is now time for things to come in for you, okay? So it feels like there's this rapid movement, this quick pace of things coming in for you. And others of you, you know, maybe you haven't been trying to manifest something and all of a sudden, you know, out of the blue, you get some news or, um, Perhaps you get some kind of communication that um, maybe you're moving and it just came out of the blue. Others of you, you're trying to, um, you were trying to manifest a move, okay? Nonetheless, Cancer, what I'm getting at here is that there is an energy of things moving quick in your life now. It's like now it's time and now things are moving forward for you, okay? So whether you have been or have not been trying to manifest something new, something different, whether it be a move, whether it be a partnership or a relationship, whatever this is for you in your life, it does feel like things are moving forward for you now. And not only are they moving forward for you, but they're moving rather, things are moving rather quickly for you. Some of you, you'll be moving. Some of you, you'll be meeting someone. Someone, some of you will be moving because you got a new job promotion. Okay, so it is gonna be different for each and every one of you, um, but there is this energy of speed, okay? You do want to make sure, though, that you do take some time out to sit with um, any decisions that have to be made. You want to make sure that you dig a little deeper, um, you know, find any, you know, do your research, cross all your T's, dot all your I's. You don't want to make too much of a rush decision, okay? For those of you where you've been trying to manifest this and you've already done the back leg work, um, wonderful. It's, it's coming in for you because it is time. And Cancer, just for a small group of you, for some of you, you're, just, you're being asked to be a little bit more patient um, because right now is not the quite, quite yet the time for your desires to be made manifest. However, not to say they will not be made manifest in due time. Okay, Cancer? So I hope you enjoyed those channel messages. If you did, thank you very much for taking a moment to um, like this video down below. We're truly grateful for each and every one of you. It doesn't cost you anything to do so, and it means the world to us. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Cancer, let's dive into the cards, see what they have to say for you today. What is the most important message that Cancer needs to hear today? Some of you, your birthday, no, for some of, what am I picking up here? Uh, no, November 5th is coming up for you, which happens to be the day that this video was shot, but um, for some of you, November 5th is, is an important day for you. Maybe it's a loved one's birthday, I'm not sure, but I'm just picking up November 5th. Or others of you, the numbers 11 and 5. Okay, so take that how it resonates. So Cancer, yes, this is what I was just referring to when I made mention to ensure 
if things are coming in quick and things are moving fast and things are all of a sudden moving and changing and you get news or you get um, some kind of communication or someone says something to you and out of the blue you're like, okay, we have to move, right? Whatever this is for you, whether it's meeting someone new, um, you know, in, in a new relationship here, whatever this is, Cancer, you do want to ensure that you are taking that respite, that time out for you to consider, um, you know, consider everything, really. Like, everything action has a reaction and all the consequences, every action has a consequence, cause and effect, etc., etc. You know, if you're making big changes in your life, you do want to make sure that you take some time out to feel the energies of what is in front of you, okay? Take some time out to sit with it for a bit and just pull back your energy from the world, from society, pull back your energy from, you know, extracurricular activities and just bring all your energy back to you in order to make any decisions that may be facing you at this time, okay, Cancer? What else do we have here for Cancer today? else do we have today but it does feel like you are coming into a time of happiness and joy and what you're looking what you were looking for and what you were longing for you're finally receiving it's you know things are are moving forward for you finally cancer for some of you there was a very long period of a pause a very long period of a lull where life was not really moving in either direction it wasn't going left it wasn't going right it was just um an energy of stagnancy okay that feels like it's about to change here. For some of you, it's like your dreams are coming true. Okay, we have a lot. I won't take this one. I will take these ones. Yeah, see? So there, there's something here to be said about, um, you know, making decisions and to plan things accurately to plan things to the best of your ability, but without, um, you know, for sure doing the back leg work, like the, the back end work, you know, crossing all your T's, dotting all your I's here. For some of you, there's this feeling of uncertainty or a confusion or you know not sure what to do maybe perhaps because you're thinking about other people in your life and you're not um, considering this for you and your life alone you know perhaps you you have other people that you're thinking about or worried about or other people that you don't want to leave behind per se There is a decision here though that has to be made and you know for some of you it is moving okay for some of you are you moving somewhere new or do you move somewhere where you used to live in the past this is going to be different for each and every one of you here but it does feel like there is some kind of decision here and that's why you're you're being asked to cancer or you already are taking some time out here to assess things and to see you know what you want to do what is going to make you happy in your life here others of you perhaps you're considering um moving back home where you used to live as a child and you know what that would entail if you were to do that it would entail leaving a lot behind, leaving everything that you have made for yourself now, leaving it all behind, to go back to a place of the past. And so, you know, it, it just feels like there's this energy of what to do, what to do. There's this, this heaviness here. Oh boy, Cancer. 
This is quite the decision you have here. And it's, it's also, it's not just making this decision here, it also then becomes all the planning, the legwork behind that decision afterwards. But for some of you, you're really thinking a lot about, you know, where you grew up back home. Um, you know, you're, you're thinking a lot about that, this energy of back home and you're just torn. You're torn here between a, a rock and a hard place, not knowing what to do here. Let's get some more cards. Let's take out the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards. What does Cancer need to know? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, for some of you, perhaps you've been away from home for a long time, perhaps for far too long, and um, because of this, you have this remin reminiscing of home, and it makes you want to just run back home. would you like to tell Cancer here? What else for Cancer? What else for Cancer? Okay, so now I'm picking up others of you are deciding between a person here. There's someone in your life and you're trying to figure out if this person is the one for you or not. Um, you know, it could be, place this how it resonates, okay, the storyline, but it could be that, you know, you're chasing them and they're running or um, they're chasing you and you're running, but, you know, you're trying to feel the waters here, test the waters to see, is this person the one for me or not? And there's this energy of confusion, so, some of you are already taking some time out to try to gain clarity um, in this situation here, Cancer. What else do you want to tell Cancer? What else does Cancer need to hear and know? What else for Cancer? Yes. And, you know, and... Okay, so if this is pertaining to a relationship, it feels like, you know, one person is an empath, the, un the other person is a narcissist here. And that's why there's this confusion, there's so much confusion within this partnership, within this dynamic and duality here. There's this push-pull energy and you're trying to, to figure things out here. Now there is, it's like you're trying to buy yourself some time in order to figure things out. You're, you've pulled your, if, if this is a relationship or you, you've possibly, some of you have pulled yourselves back or pulled yourselves out of this relationship to assess and reassess to see, you know, if this is the relationship that you're meant to be in or not. Some of you thought it was a soulmate and now you're kind of confused and scratching your head saying, if this is a soulmate, then why would it feel like this and why would they be doing this or that or you know there there's some kind of you pulling back your energy to figure things out and make a decision based on is this person for you the right person for you or not one person here has some kind of fear some kind of fear it could be a, um, a fear of separation, it could be a fear of intimacy, but there's, there's some kind of fear here. Whoever's the one that's doing the running. You both have some kind of fear, but one person here has a fear of um, separation, one person has a fear of intimacy. Place it how it resonates. All right, another card here. What else would you like to tell Cancer? Right, so... Here we have lightning. That's what I was picking up in the channeled message when I was saying that it feels like things are gonna move quick. Like all of a sudden, there's 
a quick change, like something happens, something comes in, and it's like this. Maybe someone communicates something with you, like it's over, or you communicate with someone, it's over. Like, but it's making some kind of decision here. At first, it's pulling back and visiting the situation from the inside, from inside yourself. Then it's making a decision, and then it's communicating something. Something is communicated um, rather abruptly or out of the new, and it's out of the blue. <laughs> And it's something that you're not really expecting or the other person isn't expecting. And it really changes things. It really does. It changes things for you. It changes things for the other person here. What else for Cancer? What else for Cancer? What is the Seven of Cups for Cancer? Yeah. So we have two scenarios here, okay? And it is going to be different for each one of you. Some of you are you're going to realize I thought this was my my soulmate or my life partner or my person, but things don't feel right. I'm kind of confused. I'm scratching my head here. It doesn't feel right because, you know, if this person is right for me, why would why would they be doing this or why would they be doing that or why would I always be feeling like this or why would why would this relationship feel like this if this person is the one that's meant for me? Why would I feel horrible? Okay? So there's there's that energy here. So for some of you someone is communicating whether it be you or someone else someone is communicating here that it's over someone's gonna pull the plug you or someone else and you know if it is you and if you are an empath and you're dealing with um, a narcissist here it's to understand what this is and understand this isn't the first time that you've been in this kind of a relationship um, and that it seems to be a patterning that, that you go through from you know relationship to relationship and so you're pulling the plug this time after an awareness of oh my goodness and maybe you realize it in this video Keep listening to this video maybe you realize oh my goodness this has been a pattern all my life and so it's to assess and reassess and look back in your life and um, and pull back see from a bird's, bird's eye view here pull back and assess your life, assess your past relationships, assess how the past relationships have been until now. What kind of relationships were they? Were there's, was there always someone running? Were you um, the chaser? Were you the runner? Um, were you the narcissist? Were you the empath? So it's just to pull back and assess and then reassess here, okay? Now, also, uh, we have another card here which is love. So for a small group of you, okay, for a small group of you, for another group of you here, this is about you pulling back from this relationship and perhaps realizing for the first time that this is your life partner, that you've been dreaming about this person. Maybe you were confused up until now, but something happens and you realize there's something here that I didn't see before. There's something here that I did not see before, okay? That's for a small group of you. You're gonna realize that this person is the one that you do want to choose, is the one that you do want to move forward with. And you didn't see it before, but you do see it now. Okay, Cancer? So I hope these messages resonated with you. If they did, please take a moment to like this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, be sure to hit that notification bell. That way you're advised of all of our future upcoming down, down upcoming uploads. Uh, we have a lot coming in for this channel and we're very, very excited. Thank you each and every one for being here, for being part of our channel. We love you ever so much. Um, thank you for being part of Twin Oracles community. Until the next time, bye for now.
We love you.